Not only did they suffer thousands of dollars in damage, but now they have developed a severe distrust at one of their favorite fishing holes, and they really now have a warning to pass on to other people. This weekend on the lake, Ronnie Roush was hoping for big bites, uh, not big frustrations. I've heard rumors before from past, but I thought all that was over with, but apparently not. He and his buddy headed out to Woodrum Lake in Kenna early Saturday morning, looking to catch some muskie. When they headed back to land, it wasn't their lines, but instead their hearts that sunk. And we walked up there, my, le my le right rear door, passenger door was open. I don't know if we scared them when we was coming in and they took off or what, but whatever happened, happened between the time that last guy left and then the time we pulled into dock, which may have been an hour. Both of their vehicles had been ransacked in broad daylight. Battery, gone. Windows, smashed and broken. Tools stolen, wheels and tires taken. I took the lug nuts too. West Virginia State Police responding to take a report for the thousands of dollars in damage. But for these two men, Saturday. the real damage was already yeah, done. I doubt I'll ever go back to over there. Uh, I'll fish other lakes, but I'll be picky about where I go because of parking. The Jackson County Sheriff says, unfortunately, it's something they see often in the area due to the That's remote good. and rural location, and it's become a high crime zone. Roush says he won't ever make this valuable mistake ever again, because much like their fish, these vandals are slimy. They're slick. I mean, they're fast and they're slick and they know what they're doing. So if you go there, it's you're taking a chance. Kelsey Soto, WSAZ, News Channel 3, Jackson County. Yay! And we reached out to West Virginia State Police for more details on the investigation, but have not yet heard back. Be on the lookout for...